Hi, it's Bill Clinton. Uh, this is part one of milling a simple 3D shape in RhinoCam. In part one, we're going to uh, learn about locating your drawing and how to create a box stock. I started by drawing a simple 3D shape. You can see there's not much to it. I've indicated the size of the stock or the material we're going to be cutting it out of by two rectangles, two line drawings. It's important that these are lines and not surfaces. If there's a top surface here, RhinoCam will see that as a, as a millable surface and wouldn't know there's anything underneath it. It's also really important in this case, in the very simple drawing, to not include sides. Otherwise, the machine will attempt to mill the sides of the drawing too, and we don't, we're not wanna, we don't want to do that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up the Mill browser for RhinoCam. Um, a lot of choices here, but the first thing you're going to do in almost every drawing you ever make for milling in RhinoCam, start with stock. Do the drop down and we're going to go for box stock. You can see what's happened here. It has drawn a box or a bounding box around the part that we're going to mill uh, and the material we're milling from. Um, if there is a remnant of a drawing somewhere else on your, on your layer, you need to either move that to another layer, turn that layer off, or delete that part of the drawing. It will surround everything you've drawn on that layer. It's uh, determined that my size is 8 by 6 by 2. It's also really important when you do mill on the machine to measure the material first. Make sure that it's exactly 2 inches. Sometimes it's not. So we can say OK on that. The problem with this drawing, and I did this on purpose so I can show you, is that it's actually uh, above uh, Z0. We want the top of this drawing to be at Z0. So I'm going to move this down. And you can see uh, in X and Y, the corners there, and the top of the drawing, top of the box stock, is at Z0. Now, there is a problem, because I moved that drawing, and I didn't move the stock. So we have a problem here that's very easily solved by copy model bounding box. There we go. We are ready to set up a toolpath for milling in Rhino. Uh, 